Mike Rother, Learning to See, Value Stream Mapping to Add Value and Eliminate Muda. Dive into the world of lean thinking with a learning to see, value stream mapping to add value and eliminate Muda by Mike Rother. This book summary explores the concept of value stream mapping and emphasizes its importance for gaining a value stream perspective, identifying waste, and efficiently improving production processes. Through real-life examples and actionable guidelines, readers will learn how to create both current state and future state maps, understand the significance of tack time, and discover strategies for leveling production mix and volume. The book focuses on continuous improvement and the application of lean principles at both the value stream and process levels. Embrace lean thinking. Adopting a value stream perspective and using tools like value stream mapping can help businesses eliminate waste and improve production. Managers should commit to the entire value stream and focus on both value stream improvement and process level Kaizen. The value stream map allows businesses to identify processes on the shop floor and isolate the parts that need improving. A value stream manager should be appointed to oversee the flow Kaizen at every process level. Upfront preparation is essential to avoid costly mistakes when implementing lean thinking. In the book, The Just Do It ethic of Taichi Ono and his Toyota colleagues inspire managers to adopt the famous Toyota production system. However, some companies skip preparatory work and jump into Muda elimination activities, wasting time and resources unnecessarily. Eliminating waste in one area without considering other areas does not improve overall production. As a result, managers become frustrated and give up too easily. The book advocates for a commitment to the entire value stream to avoid this pitfall. Value stream mapping, according to the author, is the best way to show the connection between the information and material flow. By analyzing every process on the shop floor, a value stream map identifies the flow in a facility and shows sources of waste. It may seem daunting to improve everything at once, but a door-to-door -door approach to improve the whole value stream and isolate parts that need improvements can lead to significant benefits. The value stream manager should have a holistic mindset to oversee both value stream improvement and process level Kaizen. Assigning a value stream manager also promotes collaboration between isolated departments that seldom interact. The first deals with information and materials, while the second focuses on people and processes. To get started, businesses should begin with a product family to simplify the map and identify every process from the customer's perspective. This approach can help businesses avoid costly mistakes and achieve success in implementing lean thinking. Creating a map for lean enterprise. To improve a product family in a lean enterprise, start with creating a current state map incorporating clear symbols for flows and processes. Draw the map by hand while walking on the shop floor and measure timing with a stopwatch. The map should show process boxes where self-contained processes stop, causing muda or waste. Additional data required includes cycle time, changeover time, on-demand machine uptime, production batch sizes, number of operators and product variations, pack size, working time minus breaks, and scrap rate. Calculate all times in seconds. Lean measures include how often a part is completed in a process, how much value creating time is spent, and how long it takes for one piece to move through the system. Eliminating overproduction. In the book, the author emphasizes how overproduction is the opposite of lean, and Toyota's vigilance against it is its hallmark. Most facilities rely on production schedules that change daily, making a smooth workflow impossible. This results in the accumulation of inventory, which wastes space, overwhelms processes, and lengthens lead time. The author suggests mapping the facility's current state to discover places where inventory accumulates. By understanding waste, discovering root causes, and eliminating waste at the source, you can eliminate overproduction. The author encourages readers to ask themselves how they can flow information so that one process will make only what the next process needs, when it needs it. 
To achieve this, readers should indicate with arrows where material is pushed along the shop floor on the map where they have placed process boxes with necessary process data and compile a production lead time timeline. By comparing the lead time with value-added processes, readers can identify areas they need to improve. Principles of Lean Value Stream Mapping Lean Value Stream Mapping involves identifying critical mapping information such as material movements that are pushed by the producer, not pulled by the customer. The guidelines include producing to tack time, developing continuous flow wherever possible, using supermarket pull systems to control production, sending the customer schedule to only one production process, and leveling the production mix and volume. The goal is to achieve a delicate balance to make every part every day, EPE, by shortening changeover times and running smaller batches to more nimbly adjust to downstream needs. Revolutionizing Inventory Management Acme Stamping Company's experience with lean value streams highlights the importance of inventory management. Despite producing only two products for their customer State Street Automotive, a typical monthly shipment of left-hand and right-hand steering brackets takes 23.6 days to produce, with processing time for a single part being 188 seconds. This is mainly due to excess inventory, which can stay in storage for up to 7.6 days before welding and assembly, and another 4.5 days before shipping. High storage costs and a lack of flexibility in production schedule changes hurt their overall value stream. The lesson is clear, in utilizing lean value streams, it is essential to recognize the significance of inventory control and reduce waste, improving productivity and cutting costs without compromising on efficiency. Streamlining Production Processes The book discusses an alternative method of managing a production process. It suggests starting from the customer and moving backward to create a continuous flow of the weld-slash-assembly process, with a 60-second tack time. Kanban triggers are used to initiate part production, and the stamping press produces just 1.5 days' worth of inventory instead of 7.6. By using a continuous flow process, lead time for this process drops to zero. The book explains that it is necessary to cut down lead time and storage needs by using a milk run delivery every two days. It is also suggested that the batch production of brackets is more efficient for Acme, as they only have two products. The book highlights that reducing production lead time from 23.6 days to 8 days was achieved in the first iteration, with an increase in inventory turns from 10 to 30. However, there is still room for further improvement. The book concludes by emphasizing the importance of starting with the customer's needs and emphasizes that this method is used by Toyota to this day. Improving Production Efficiency Through Lean Production This book summary highlights the key ideas presented in the book Lean Production Simplified by Pascal Dennis. The book explains how lean production can be employed to improve production efficiency in manufacturing industries. The author uses the case of a manufacturing company that produces brackets to illustrate how production efficiency can be improved. The company sets a pacemaker between stamping and weld-slash-assembly and alternates between producing left and right-hand brackets. By implementing these changes, inventory turns increase fourfold, and lead time is significantly reduced. The author emphasizes the need to produce only what the customer needs when they need it and advises value stream managers to break down lean implementation into loops. The book also highlights the importance of financial metrics and ensuring that they do not interfere with production efficiency. The author encourages companies to practice Kaizen continually, eliminate waste, and reduce batch sizes. The book emphasizes that lean production depends on continual trial and error, planning, and striving to achieve set goals. Mike Rothers, Learning to See, Value Stream Mapping to Add Value and Eliminate Muda, offers invaluable insights into adopting lean thinking and transforming your production system. By understanding the importance of value stream mapping, recognizing areas for improvement, and implementing strategies like continuous flow and pull systems, you can strive towards the goal of producing only what the customer needs, when they need it. Remember that lean production is a blend of trial and error and planning. 
Keep practicing Kaizen, reduce batch sizes, and be open to continuous improvement. This book summary imparts valuable lessons and techniques for embarking on your lean journey and ultimately achieving efficient and customer-focused production.